This is it, 500 pages long, and these are what the main points are that the Inspector General report says. It says there was no indication of political bias influencing the major decisions made by the FBI in terms of investigating or prosecuting in the Hillary Clinton email investigation. But it says some text messages, as you just noted, by a few FBI employees cast a cloud over one part of the investigation and overall over the FBI's reputation. I'll come back to that in just a second. It says, the report says it was extraordinary and insubordinate for then FBI Director James Comey to have that news conference in July 5th of the election year 2016 to say no charges would be filed against Hillary Clinton without getting the clearance and the sign off from people at the Justice Department. It says Attorney General Loretta Lynch's decision not to cut short her tarmac discussion with former President Clinton was an error in judgment, though the IG says no evidence was found that the two of them actually talked about the email investigation. One of the most important part of the report says that the FBI knew by late September all it really needed to know to move more quickly on the emails found on Anthony Weiner's laptop computer. It was the discovery of those emails that prompted the FBI director to say in late October, just 10 days before the election, that new emails had been found that might be pertinent to the FBI's investigation. One surprise here, according to the IG, the FBI director Comey told the IG that he didn't know that Anthony Weiner was married to Huma Abedin, who was, of course, a close aide of Hillary Clinton. It says Comey made a serious error of judgment in his decision to tell Congress in late October about the discovery of these emails. Now, back to this issue of the text. During the investigation, the IG discovered a large number of texts between two FBI officials, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. Strzok, who played a, a senior role in the Clinton email investigation. We knew from a previous disclosure that on August 6th, now remember, this is about a month and a half before the Wiener emails are discovered, she texted to him, in essence, Trump, he's, Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Right? And what we learn now is that Strzok responded as follows, no, no, he's not, we'll stop it. Now, the IG says Strzok told them that he doesn't remember sending that, but that he thinks he was simply trying to reassure Lisa Page, with whom he was having a close relationship, that he wouldn't get elected, not because he was suggesting that he would do anything improper. And this is a subtle little point in this 500-page report. What the IG says is they're not accusing Strzok of playing an improper role in he was among the FBI officials who could have uh, gotten the FBI to move more aggressively on the emails found on the Wiener laptop in late September. They're not accusing him of having a improper political motive and not goosing that along and moving it faster, but they say they can't rule it out. So they're not accusing him of bias, they just say they can't rule it out. Now, one other note, uh, some members of Congress apparently unsatisfied with this have already said they want the inspector general to give them draft copies of his report. But as we understand it, uh, the, the Justice Department has never before shared with Congress the draft of an IG report, Katie. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you wanna keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.